Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today I'm going to show you guys how to jailbreak iOS 5.0.1 on the iPhone 4, iPhone 3GS, iPod Touch 4th and 3rd generation, as well as the first iPad. Now this is a tethered jailbreak, and it does not work for the iPhone 4S or the iPad 2. Now you might be wondering, well why am I making this video if I've already made a tethered jailbreak video for iOS 5.0.1? And the answer is quite simple. Red Snow was just updated to actually include support for iOS 5.0.1 without the need to download an IPSW and point it at it. So now all you have to do is download the latest version of Red Snow. And I have a link down below in the more info to a post on my website that has this version of Red Snow that you can easily download. And it does work for both Mac and PC computers. So once you have it downloaded, you can continue with this tutorial because again, that's the only thing you need to download. Right now I'm going to show you that I do have an iPod Touch fourth generation that is on iOS 5.0.1. So inside of settings, general about for the version, it does say 5.0.1, and that is the latest public firmware for iDevices. So now that I've got that out of the way, I'm just going to open up Red Snow and we will continue with this tutorial. So all you have to do is hit jailbreak, and now it's saying to both plug in your device and turn it off. That's actually not required because what it's going to do after you hit next is walk you through how to enter DFU mode. And it's actually easier to do it ahead of time because it bypasses this screen. And the way I'm going to tell you how to enter DFU mode is actually easier than what Red Snow tells you. So again, you just need to plug in your device and follow this simple tutorial. So hold down your home and power button together for a total of 10 seconds. Once that 10 seconds is up, let go of the power button and continue holding the home button until the screen goes away. As you can see, it bypassed that screen and now it is actually exploiting my device to identify it. All right, and as you can see up at the top, it does say that it has identified the iPod Touch 4,1 5.0.1. So you do know it's a fourth generation iPod Touch on 5.0.1. Now, here we get a couple of options at the bottom. The only thing we're really concerned about is install Cydia. Do not worry about install custom bundle because we're not on that. We're just worried about installing Cydia because again, that's what you do when you jailbreak is you get Cydia. So you can also check off any of the other options besides install custom bundle if you want to. I'm just going to leave install battery percentage or actually enable battery percentage on. So I can hit next here and now it is actually going to go through the jailbreak process. So I'm actually just going to hold my iPod touch here to show you how long each step should take. All right, now it's just explaining a tethered jailbreak here. And again, that just means that you need to plug your device in and rerun Red Snow's just boot mode every time you need to turn your device on if it was turned off. So like for instance, if it dies, you will need to do that. And also on top of that, if you want to use the semi untethered jailbreak, which I highly recommend, then you only have to run the just boot mode. If you die and you want to use anything you obtain, that requires a jailbreak. So for instance, if you want to use Cydia, then you will need to rerun this. But again, once you have the semi-tethered jailbreak, it's basically like a lifeline because you can turn your device off and turn it back on with limited functionality. And the video that I have down below in the more info explains that more. So I highly recommend checking that out after this video because you want to run the semi untethered jailbreak on top of this tethered jailbreak. Now, unfortunately, you can't actually really see the screen on my iPod touch very well here, but it is at the running pineapple logo and it is saying that it is moving applications and that is the longest step. And once it goes past that step, then it shouldn't take too long.
All right, as you can see, it bypassed moving applications and it is now installing bundles. So this doesn't take too long at all and then your device should reboot. And while we're waiting for that to happen, we can come over to Red Snow and click OK to the Tether jailbreak message. And we can either cancel out of it or go back to the beginning because we're not quite done with it yet. All right, here we go. So the iPod Touch is back up here. And I will show you that we do have Cydia, but it is a white icon. Every time you try and launch it, it does not work. Again, like I was saying, you will need to do the just boot mode. And also every time you turn your device off, you will need to do just boot to turn it back on unless you have the semi-tethered jailbreak installed on top of that. Then you only need to do this just boot mode if you wanna use anything from Cydia. And like I was saying, the video that's down below explains that more. So what we're going to do now is hit extras just boot and this is the same as before it's saying please make sure your device is both plugged in and powered off and then it's going to tell you how to enter DFU mode but we're going to do that ahead of time and bypass this screen by plugging it in and holding down the home and power button together for a total of 10 seconds once that 10 seconds is up you're going to let go of the power button and continue holding the home button for roughly 10 seconds and you will know that you are in DFU mode because it bypasses that screen and again, it is just identifying the device right now. All right, there we go. Now, once you do see you have the pineapple logo instead of the Apple boot logo, you know that it did work properly. And as you can see inside of Red Snow, it says it's done and the rest of the process will take place on your device. So it is just booting up right now. All right, it is back up now. And as you can see, now Cydia has the proper icon and when you launch it, it will work. So we're gonna say user, done, and it will refresh here. I'm just going to hit cancel for the sake of time in this video. I'm going to scroll down and at the bottom, it will say again that I am on an iPod Touch fourth generation on iOS 5.0.1. All right, so I hope you guys liked this video and I hope it helped you jailbreak your iDevice. Also, be sure to just stay tuned for when I release my video on how to get an untethered jailbreak and I will be releasing that video as soon as a jailbreak utility is made available, so just keep that in mind. And again, like I was saying, subscribe to be notified and also if this video helped you out, please remember to rate it up and share your thoughts in the comment section below. And until next time, this is ICU signing out.